folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV, where we offer the full lineup of Thor Challenger motor coaches. Today, we're gonna go over the Thor Challenger 37 KT. This is going to be a 2016 model. Now, I love this floor plan, it's very versatile. It kinda has segmented rooms, so it's nice and broken up. Feels a lot like a residential uh, application, kind of like a house. But we'll check that out more when we go inside. First, let's go ahead and start out on the exterior. This one is gonna have the port finish on it. That's gonna be your paint. The thing I love about Challenger, this is going to be full body paint. So as we'll take a look through the co uh, our way back to coach, you can see it's gonna be Sickens paint, which is phenomenal, top of the line paint job. If you're not familiar with Sickens paint, the great thing about it is it never truly cures. So what that means for you is as you're going down the road and the coach starts flexing a little bit, you're never gonna get your spider cracks in the paint, whether it's along the top or anywhere else, you'll never see see that because that never really cures. The Sickens paint is actually what they use on uh, a lot of your sports cars like Ferraris and Lamborghinis for that exact same reason. Plus it's going to be cut and buff, just top notch paint so your coach is going to stay looking nice forever. Now this one is going to be on the uh, Ford chassis. It's gonna have your 6.8 liter Triton engine in there. So that's gonna be your V10, gonna put out about 360 horse, about 460 foot pounds of torque. You're also gonna have your 22 and a half inch tires on there. So we take a look uh, at right up front, actually, I, I don't wanna miss this. This is going to be an automotive bonded windshield, so it's not gonna have like your old H-frame or anything. Just fantastic windshield, all one solid piece. Right here is going to be our mirror, of course. You do have a bi-directional mirror in there, so you're gonna uh, get extra vision. And on top of that, right here, both mirrors are gonna have a camera. So that way, as soon as you put on your blinker, you're gonna get that extra vision right here in your blind spot, just to give you that, uh, that extra peace of mind. We'll see, we're gonna have uh, power awnings on here. We'll have two power awnings. First one, of course, is gonna start right here. It's gonna actually go over this slide. The second one I love, it's gonna actually be built right onto the slide. So that way you get huge awning coverage covering almost the entire length of the coach and all your slides are gonna have slide out toppers on there as well. So any kind of sticks or debris or anything that falls, when you put the slide in, it's just gonna roll right off. You don't have to worry about that being a mess. Right here is gonna be our outside entertainment center. So we're gonna have some speakers right here. This is just gonna pop open and there's gonna be our outside TV. Again, that's gonna be underneath that awning so that way you're going to have uh, you know, nice view to it. This is also gonna help block the sun so you're not going to have a glare on there. And just look at that paint job. Again, it's a nice sunny day. That paint's just gonna kinda of shine and sparkle. Looks absolutely phenomenal. As we take a look underneath here, we'll open up some of our compartment bays. You'll notice that they're gonna have a strut on there, so it's nice, easy open at the end. And then this is going to be rotocast um, liner in here. The great thing about the rotocast, you never have to worry about any kind of water. If it, if it does set in there, it's not gonna rust, it's not gonna get all gross on you. And it's gonna have a drain at the bottom. So again, any water, you can just drain it out the bottom. If you need to wash it out, it's absolute breeze, of course, you can spray it out, and again, it's gonna drain out the bottom, fantastic. As we get underneath here, one thing I do want to show you is take a look, you get pass-through storage. The reason for that is because the Challenger is going to use a 13-inch I-beam rather than your standard 7. So that way you're going to get that extra pass-through on top of there. Also on top of that I-beam they do put neoprene which helps take a lot of the road vibration out of the coach as well. So just fantastically built, they did a great job. Also when they do build the frame, they build that structure from the very front corner to the rear opposite corner, it's going to be within .00 eight inches, eight hundredths of an inch. So that way you, you know that it's going to be nice and true and it's not going to be built with any kind of flex in the coach. So we come back, here's going to be another compartment, again pass through storage there, so great storage on the 37KT. Of course here's going to be our entryway, we open that up, you'll have power steps that come out nice and easy to climb up in. We'll take a look at that a little more in a second. So again, here's where the first awning ends. This is where the second one's gonna pick up. So that just slides right out, which is awesome. Right here, you're gonna get a couple electrical outlets. So if you wanna plug anything in right there, you can certainly do that. Right here, you get a little extra storage as well as some easy access to your valves right there. That's one thing that as we go around, I'll show you more and more that Challenger does a great job of. They have access to almost everything. So if you do have to operate anything, it's super easy to get to. Right here, of course, is going to be our propane. 
And one thing I do want to talk about too right here is going to be our windows. You're going to have frameless windows on the Challenger. So frameless windows are, are going to have a couple benefits. One, they just look way nicer. They look absolutely great. Two, because your seal is going to be tucked behind the glass, okay, this is going to be tinted glass, that's going to help prolong the life of your seal. So it's not going to be getting beat up by the UV rays and all the other elements, which is awesome. And also, because the way the frameless windows open, they open up uh, kind of in this direction, you can actually leave them open while it's raining and you're not going to get a bunch of water inside. So definitely a, a lot of added benefit. Um, one more thing right here, this is uh, going to be a safety D-ring. So what you can do right there, if you have bikes or grill or something else you want to lock up, you can lock it up right there. That way you don't have to worry about anything getting stolen on you. Huge, huge fresh water tank right there. Um, couple great things that Challenger does. One, right behind this panel is going to be all your sensors. So on the fresh, the gray, and the black tank, they mount the sensors on the outside. That way they're not going to uh, get destroyed by any kind of harsh water, or uh, you don't have to worry about toilet paper or anything else getting on the sensors in the black tank. Also, if you have to replace them, it's super simple. So you can just unscrew this, take the panel off. They're gonna be right there to go ahead and work on. Also, you'll see right here, you get a nice big drain. This is going to be a one inch drain on that fresh water tank. Because you have such a big fresh tank, you know, they, you don't want a little small uh, drain where it's just gonna trickle out. So that one inch is gonna make sure that empties real fast, which is great. Again, more storage right here. You can see the rotocast, you can see the plug in there. And just because that's not quite enough, right there we're gonna have some additional storage. So we come around to the back of the Challenger, of course you're going to have your rear fiberglass cap on there, beautiful, does a great job of finishing it off. Again, you have the paint, your frameless window, up top you can see you're going to have your backup camera. Of course that's going to be built in and integrated, that way you can see as you're backing up. Right here is going to be our ladder, again that's going to be built on so you don't have to bring an extra ladder, but that allows you to get up on the roof for any kind of maintenance. Right here is going to be our hitch. So the Challenger does come with an 8,000 pound hitch. Now bear in mind, I don't recommend that you go towing 8,000 pounds all the time. However, if you do need to pull something heavy, you can lighten up the load that you're towing and you can absolutely do it. So that's just gonna be a great extra feature to have. Right here is going to be our uh, gas, uh, gas fill up right there. So the great thing about having it on the back, if you've ever driven a long coach before, you know that gas stations can sometimes be tough. And if you, you know, with having it on the back right here, you don't have to worry about whether you're pulling up on the left or right. You can pull up on either side. You don't have to wait for a pump to finish out. That way you can go ahead and fill up on either side. Again, just makes it a lot easier for you. You know, in minor things, you know, a lot of the small things actually end up being big things like this right here. If you take a look um, at our, our water heater panel right here, you notice how this is flush. They didn't have to do this. Most of your manufacturers, it'll stick out, but they made it flush, just really helps it blend in, looks fantastic. More storage here, right? Great storage. We can come into this uh, compartment here. We'll have additional storage here. You're also going to have uh, your plug-in right there, 50 amp plug-in, of course. As we make our way up to this compartment, this is going to be our convenience center. So we'll have our whole house water filter on here, our sewer tank flush. Um, here's gonna be our winterization station, as well as your outside shower. Now again, one of the things that Challenger does, take a look at that, that's gonna be your water pump right there. The awesome thing about that is that's gonna be one of the uh, things that commonly go wrong on a motor coach. Challenger puts it right there so it's nice and easy to work on. If you have to exchange or replace it, you can easily do it. Here's going to be our Cummins Onan 5500 watt Jenny. So our generator is going to be uh, plenty big enough to run everything in the coach. The other thing I love about it, I'll talk about it more when we go inside, is this coach is going to be equipped with auto gen start. So if, uh, for example, your uh, batteries go low and you need to uh, have power to your refrigerator, the generator will automatically kick on. You can set it to temperature and a bunch of other things as well, but just an awesome feature to have. So here's going to be another dump right there. As we take a look over in this section, so here's going to be our uh, two batteries as well as all of our hookups for hydraulics. So you'll notice these are all going to be color coded, so that way it's nice and easy. Again, they're thinking of maintenance, just if, uh, you know, if you do have to work on it, it's a lot easier to do that. And I'm telling you, the Challenger has amazing customer service. If you ever need help, we at American RV, of course, can help you. But if we cannot, we can get you the technicians. They have 24-hour service helpline. They're absolutely wonderful. 
as we come in here, of course, more storage. One of the things I do want to show you, um, you, do, you are going to have your inverter right here, which is going to be for your residential fridge. We'll see that when we go inside. And then right here, you're going to have um, a, an extra module. What this box is, is this is going to help control your slide. So in the event that your slide does fail, now bear in mind that it is going to be very, very rare, but in the event that it does, all you have to do is you can pull those plugs out, it'll release the brakes on the slide, you can manually push this slide in, put those back in, it'll set the brakes again, just to make sure that the slide's not going to come out, but again, that way you're not going to get stranded. So, you know, they do all these things, all these extra safety features make it very easy to work on. And then right here, you're going to have more storage. So again, beautiful coach, you can take a look. This again is the port paint on here. Uh, absolutely gorgeous, ton of amazing amenities on the outside. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at the gorgeous inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2016 Thor Challenger 37KT. So this of course is going to be the front of the coach and personally this is going to be one of my favorite areas in this coach. The reason is it gives you a, a nice living area where you get plenty of seating here. Everything from our two incliners right here with our cup rests. Of course both our driver and passenger seats are also going to swivel. Those are going to be our flex steel seats. But right over here is going to be our entertainment center. So what you can do, of course, everyone can sit around, watch TV, but also you're going to have doors right here that are going to shut and close this space off. So beautiful double sliding doors on here. So if you do have kids, grandkids, anyone else that's going to stay with you, they get their own separate room because right here is going to be a bed that comes down. So just a great area up here, but let's go ahead and start off. We'll go in a little more detail. Let's start right here on the entertainment center. So this is going to be a hardwood stained and glazed resort cherry. It's beautiful, beautiful woodwork. It's one of the uh, upgraded features that they met from 2015 to 2016. They upgraded their wood. You really have to see it to appreciate it. It is absolutely phenomenal. They have these beautiful brushed nickel poles on here, but you get great storage right here. Nice adjustable shelving there. You get additional storage right here. And you have this beautiful smoke glass here with additional storage right there. So of course we'll have our TV with our sound bar underneath for superior sound quality and you're going to have a fireplace. So the thing I love about the fireplace, not only does it look nice, but it does an amazing job of taking the chill off because this is a pretty uh, small space so it does a fantastic job there. You get um, great shelving right there, you'll have your uh, multimedia center there, your components, your DVD player. You'll have additional storage over here as well, again, adjustable shelving. So I talked a little bit about the front, but again, both these seats are going to be uh, your um, flex steel seats. They are going to be leather. They'll swivel around. Right in between, you'll see you have a spot for a table. So that's going to be in back, but that's going to be awesome because you have an extra spot to eat right here. Whether you want to have your cup of coffee, a snack, or play cards, you can definitely do that. So we take a look at uh, the cockpit itself here, right up front. You can see you have some uh, cup holders right there, as well as a non-slip pad, perfect for wallet, anything else you want to put there. You'll also notice you're going to have a fiberglass shroud. So the great thing about the fiberglass is if you do, you know, kick it with your feet or anything while you get in, it's nice and easy to clean up. It's not going to be like your carpet where it's going to be really messy. So that's just going to be an awesome feature. Also, they do a really good job of insulating that, so it's going to really help for sound. So it's not going to be super loud up here either. Of course, we'll have our standard instrument panels with our heat and everything right here. Our backup camera as well as radio is going to be there. You do have some additional uh, plugins right here. Of course, your front shade is going to be a power shade on there. You'll have your slow rise shades on the side. You'll have slow rise throughout the entire coach. So they're going to be roller shades. They work awesome. Uh, like I mentioned, we were outside. Of course, this will be on the Ford chassis. It'll have the V10 in there, uh, five speed transmission. Over here, you're going to get another cup holder. You can see you have um, con uh, control your mirrors as well as mirror heat, and you will have your auto leveling. So it'll be six point hydraulic auto level, super simple and easy to use. 
As we go over to the passenger side here, one of the things I really like is this. This actually lifts up and comes out as an extra table. So that way, if your passenger wants to you know, do some work on a laptop, iPad, whatever it may be, they can certainly do that. Maybe eat a sandwich or something on the road. Nice and easy to do so. Of course, they'll have an additional cup holder over on their armrest. And underneath, they are gonna have a plug-in. So again, if they are doing any kind of work, they need to plug it in, you can certainly do that. And I talked about our inverters, uh, I'm sorry, incliners. So super comfortable. Um, you can sit down, of course, the legs will pop up. Really just lets you sit back, take a load off. Uh, just a, a great seat directly across the TV so you don't have to crane your neck. Super comfortable spot to sit. Of course, you have two cup holders here as well as cup holders behind. The other great thing about these incliners is that they are gonna have seat belts, so they are safe for riding. So you wanna talk about a comfortable ride, you can sit there, pop your feet up and go down the road uh, you know, worry-free, hands up, just fantastic. Right here, you're gonna have some extra speakers, reading lights, of course, and then up top, you're going to have additional storage. Again, beautiful woodwork. You'll have the hidden hinges here as well as uh, your strut here in order to support it. Just absolutely beautiful. And I mentioned that we have the two doors here. Again, this closes off. That bed up top is gonna come down. That is a queen bed. One of the great changes they made to that bed for 2016 as well is that the mattress is gonna be built in. It's not gonna be an air mattress. It's actually gonna be controlled right out here. So right as you come in the main door, you have these cabinets right up top. This one is going to be storage, but this one right here is gonna be for the power bed. So you can just turn the key to on, hit the lower button, and the bed will go ahead and come down for you. Of course, our stairwell coming in, I did show you the power steps and we were outside, our controls as far as lights, um, and our um, disconnect, battery disconnect, everything will be right down there. Then you come into the beautiful kitchen. So Whirlpool stainless steel residential appliances, big deal. We take a look here, right? This is awesome. You can open this up. You get a ton, a ton of room and storage in here. You have your extra crisper trays. You can see here it has humidity control. So you can make sure that the food's gonna last in there a long time. Just a ton of space. Uh, controls right up here for how cold you want the refrigerator and the freezer. Again, you have the water filter. My favorite part about it is right here because you can just put your glass there, get your water, ice maker. If you're one like me and you know maybe you like to have a, a drink or two at night, it's really nice to have the ice. Just put it right there and just super simple and easy for you. Again, Whirlpool appliances. Here it is. Stainless steel Whirlpool convection microwave. Look at the size of that. That's not going to be your standard small little oven you see in a lot of RVs. That's a huge convection oven. So if you want to have a Thanksgiving turkey, you can certainly do it. You're also going to get additional storage above that, as well as great pantry storage to the sides. So this is gonna be an adjustable shelf here. You can see the adjustments. You get a nice big uh, cubby hole in the corner there, and you're going to have additional storage here. So we come down, again, you'll have the slow rise shades here. Just works wonderfully. Beautiful countertop, huge countertop space. And uh, part of that is gonna be because they do give us the covers, solid surface, of course, but we'll have the covers right here for our uh, three burner Atwood stove top, which gives you great flame control. So again, that way, if you're one that really likes to cook, they're gonna give you the tools to be able to do it. Also, our sink, we can lift these off. You'll have double bowl stainless steel sink, nice deep bowls. A lot of times, your manufacturers will put in, you know, the double bowl stainless sinks but they're really shallow and you can't really do anything with them not here they're going to be nice and deep in the challenger so that way we're going to be able to easily wash pots and pans especially with our high rise stainless steel pull out faucet so because we have the convection oven, you don't need your standard oven here. So in its place, you get a nice deep drawer. Of course, we have a bunch of remotes and tools and water filters and stuff in here. Um, one of the remotes I do want to talk about, however, is going to be this guy right here, which is the Rapid Camp. So the really cool thing about Rapid Camp, this is going to give you a remote that lets you uh, remotely, of course, control a bunch of different things, as you can see right here. So you can control your lights, the generator, the awnings, as well as your 
slides. So what's really neat about that is as you're setting up camp, you can take this outside with you, you can open up your slides, make sure you're not gonna hit anything, same thing with your awning. Or maybe if you don't have shore power and you know, you're know you sleeping in bed and you wanna turn the AC on, you can quickly just hit this, turn the generator on from bed, you don't have to get out of bed, that way your AC kicks on. So just a, a really neat feature, um, something that does come with the Challenger. Underneath here, again, more uh, drawer space, so just nice deep drawers. Both of these are perfect for pots and pans. You're gonna have three full extension drawers right here, so just a really nice bank of drawers there, as well as additional storage here, great storage underneath the sink, perfect for all your cleaning supplies, and right here is going to be a slide-out trash can. Now, across the way right here, as you can see, again, beautiful woodwork. I love the woodwork in here. That resort cherry is really bright. They did a great job on it. Um, this is gonna give you very versatile space. So this closet, you have an adjustable shelf here, as well as three pullouts right here, and you're going to have the hanging rod up top, as well as your drawer here. So just great space. The other thing you can do is if you want washer dryer hookup, okay, there's a panel right back here that comes out and this is where your washer and dryer would go. So that way you can have a stackable unit. You don't have to have the combo unit that takes forever, but they give you plenty of space right there. So beautiful kitchen, great pantry space. Um, you do get the countertop extension right here. So if you want additional room, again, just great countertop in there. I love the KT, awesome floor plan right over here is going to be our dinette so when you're ready for dinner you know you have the dinette here it has a leaf on both so uh, sides the table of course will come out and you're gonna have two additional chairs so all four people can sit around big beautiful window right here as well that way if you want to you know sit here and enjoy your morning coffee or breakfast you get a great view to the campsite of course our light here and you're gonna get an additional TV the thing I love about this TV is not only can you watch it if you're sitting at the table maybe you uh, want to you know watch your morning news as you're having your coffee you can do that or while you're cooking you can quickly turn and watch the TV as well now right here is going to be our control uh, cluster so this is where the rapid camp goes right there and then as you can see here you'll have your tank monitoring system your generator how many hours of course start stop there water heater which will run off of LP or electric or you can turn them both on at the same time for higher recovery as well as our slide out controls and of course our uh, thermostat will be here and you have an extra plug-in which is great for the kitchen nice and easy especially uh, if you utilize this extra countertop space now right in here as you can see we're gonna have two entrances into the bedroom one from the bathroom one from the main hall but let's go ahead and take a look right in here in the bathroom so lots of great space in this bathroom. We have plenty of room. We're gonna have a nice large mirrored medicine cabinet on here. Great storage behind that. Take a look at this countertop space. Huge countertop space on here. Stainless steel bowl. So they did upgrade to the stainless steel bowl for 2016, which is another awesome feature. You're gonna have your plug in here for hair dryer, anything else you're gonna need. As well as right here, you're gonna have a towel ring. Also, you're gonna get additional storage underneath. So you get some excellent storage there as well and again the beautiful woodwork here's gonna be our neo angle shower so this is gonna have the rain glass on it we'll open this up for you so you can take a look inside there but you get plenty of space you'll have some shelving you get your hand wand here as well as a skylight which lets in a lot of natural light and it's going to give you some additional headspace now right over here as soon as we walk in you get excellent linen closet right there right excellent storage as well well as a nice pull out drawer right there. In the opposite corner, right over here, is going to be our stool. You can see this does have a foot flush lever on here, and this is going to be porcelain, so it's going to clean a lot easier for you. And right up top here is additional storage, perfect for some of your other toiletries. All right, let's go ahead and head in. We'll take a look at our bedroom. In our bedroom of the 37 KT, we are do have a, a slide out right here, which is going to be the same one that is in our dining room area, but it gives us a plenty of room for a full walk around king bed so beautiful bed right here as you can see you're gonna have plenty of space here you get the uh, handmade leather headboard up there which is great plenty of storage all the way around so you have a great shelving space on on this side here you're gonna have wardrobe up top 
as well as um, on the side rather, then you'll have extra storage space up top. You're also gonna have your thermostat there as this unit does have two ACs. Also, this king bed does lift up for additional storage, strut supported there. Now you'll see inside is gonna be your two foldable chairs for the dining space, but a ton of room under there, which is great. Now, if you're laying in bed, you may wanna say, hey, I wanna watch a movie, not a problem. Right here at the foot of the bed is going to be a TV, and you'll have a more storage space all the way around. So you'll see here, you get excellent hanging space. It's not in the sides of the bed, but up front here too, and that'll be mirrored, but you'll have that on both sides. You'll get additional storage on both sides of the TV here, and you have excellent drawer space underneath. That'll give you four drawers here. Now you're also gonna have a window here which lets in a lot of light and of course lets you see the campsite. But my favorite is you're gonna have a window right here in the back. So that way if you are backed up to a beautiful view, you can go ahead and open that up in the morning and really enjoy that. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed the tour. Again, this is a Thor Challenger 37KT. This is the 2016 model. There's a ton to love about this coach. It's extremely versatile with the floor plan in that you get that front entertainment area with the additional sleeping space, which essentially can close off and make a whole nother room. You get huge kitchen space, a ton of storage both inside and out, beautiful exterior, sickens paint, nice light wood, definitely a winner. You have to come and take a look at it. If you do have any questions or comments please feel free to leave those on the video below or you can give me a call here at American RV and I'll be happy to answer them that way as well. Thanks for watching I'm Ian Baker and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.